up the tape for this welterweight championship fight. So two years, the gap in age, with some differences in height, but the same reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan. Introducing the challenger, the king. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out there. You ready? You ready? as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the young. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Ooh, head kick lands. This guy's throwing early. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. That's a big strike right there. Oh, yeah, right here. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Just misses with the right. No! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. That's a big hook. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Effective strike there by Lee. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking oh. all incoming strikes. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad.
connects with a right. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Oh! He's out! He got him! Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. Well, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano is called to stop for this contest at four minutes, 30 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, the king. And new UFC welterweight champion. Those words sound good. He's going to enjoy watching this one back. There's a new king at 170 pounds. There is nothing better than hearing and new. It's almost like the weight has been lifted off of your shoulders. The journey is complete. You are now the UFC champion.